It is 543, and you know, keeping up Ooh. with fitness goals, well, it usually means getting into a routine. Of course, we've been watching Brooke back here. She's been working out all through the break. You thought she would have taken a break? But no, she's been going right after she's it. She's leading by example. Yeah, she's, she's live and bitten it. at Cycle One <laughs> Studio, giving us a look at some of the fitness classes there. Yeah, good morning, Abby Day. Let me tell you, it is a dedicated bunch in here to be at a cycling class at 5.30 in the morning. Let me tell you, I wouldn't be up if I didn't have to, but it has lots of benefits cycling does. So joining me next this morning is Lee Messersmith. So Lee, what are the different benefits to cycling? Because it's a fun class too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the greatest benefits is just that you get on the bike, you get your legs moving. It's a low impact exercise. So people that maybe used to run in the past, lose the ability to run, they're able to hop on a bike and they're able to pedal. So you're able to get your cardio exercise without having a lot of negative impact on your body. So it's a good exercise. Are there any other health benefits besides cardio to get some muscle going? Because I know they have like the different resistance and everything like that too. Yeah, the great thing about indoor cycling, this is specifically called spin, is it replicates riding outside. So if we do it outside, you do it in here. So a lot of it's lower body workout more than upper body, but it strengthens your legs, it strengthens your core, and then you do get that cardio benefit. And one thing that we were talking about is during the pandemic, a lot of people wanted to get outside, get moving. A lot of people started biking and cycling outside, but they lost that community feel which classes offer. Absolutely. I, mean, I think that's one of the biggest things is that people are in this together. They're doing it together. Obviously, we've got a full room at 530 in the morning. There's something about being in a room with other people. There's accountability and there's a support structure. And that's one of the great things about a group fitness studio is it gives you the ability to have other people around you. And it's not you by yourself, but you've got support from others. And, you know, talking to people in here, you know, what seems to be a highlight for people who take this class? Um, they really enjoy the efficiency of it. One of the greatest things about spin is that in a 45-minute class, you can burn upwards of five to 600 calories. So it's a very efficient form of exercise. It maximizes your time while you maximize the benefits. Well, I'm definitely having fun. I was telling you that I used to do cycle uh, classes in college. So I'm going to start getting out my work on this morning and uh, to take part in this class, excuse me. But coming up, we're gonna be talking about some TRX, I think, I'll be exactly. trying that out. Yep. For now, back to you in the studio. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm out of breath thinking about it. As and, I, uh, I intensity. Brooke out there this morning. I'll tell you what, cycling indoors, though, sounds a little better during the winter time. We've been talking about this. Evie's saying, right. you know, I like to run outside when it's cold. I'm not, I don't, Everything inside you know, is better in the winter. As soon as the temperature drops <laughs> below 50, I'm like, I'm heading indoors. Same All right. Here. But uh, checking in outside this morning, we are below 50 degrees. In fact, uh, back near the freezing mark in some areas uh, elsewhere, mid-30s from Sparta to Carbondale, Mount Vernon, and Perryville right now, both at 33 degrees. A warm day uh, ahead for us. At least for this time of year, about 10 degrees above average. Warmest day of the week on tap for us later on this afternoon. We'll cool back a few degrees as we head into Thursday and Friday. Still expecting quiet.